Is 2021's Mortal Kombat any good? Or does it fall into Mortal Kombat Annihilation territory? <laughs> These are the questions I'm gonna answer right now. When I saw the trailer for the new movie, I was actually pretty hooked. I'm like, this looks great. They're using kind of practical fighting with some stylized CG effects. It looks very similar to the game. It's rated R. It's gonna have swearing. It's gonna have blood and guts and gore and cool fatalities. Basically, the hope was it would still retain some of that fun, magical charm that 1995's film had, but just punch everything up. It's bad. For starters, it's not Mortal Kombat Annihilation bad. However, that doesn't mean I'd rather watch it than Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Um, I, I find Annihilation to be just comically stupid. Everything about it's horrible, which makes it really fun to hate watch. It's kind of like when you stroll outside at night and you watch someone get mugged down an alleyway and you're like, ha 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 ha, and they're like, please help me, call the cops. And I'm just like, no, no, this is too much fun. It's kind of like that. You know, the warnings are right there. It's free on HBO Max. That, I mean, that was the only warning I needed, but the warnings were there. A few days prior to the movie releasing, they went ahead and released the first six or seven minutes to, to everyone, even if you didn't have HBO Max. And I just thought, no, I'm not gonna watch this. I'm already, I'm already sold. The trailer's hooked me. I can understand why they did, because the first six or seven minutes are misleading. They make you believe you're going to watch a good movie. The story is ridiculous. It's called Mortal Kombat. There is no, there's no tournament in this. They talk about the tournament the whole time. The whole film feels like a prequel for the next movie. There's so much nonsense. And I guess I won't spoil anything beyond what I just said, which maybe is a spoiler. I don't know, who cares? They're making like, they want to make like four or five of these I was told on the internet. So I believe, I believe everything I hear. This new character Cole, who I've also been told from the internet was in the online series. I didn't watch, didn't, didn't have any desire to. Wow, I mean, if he's the fan favorite there, something was amiss in this film because I found him to be incredibly dull, one dimensional. I don't even know if he's one dimensional, he's no dimensional. There was, there was just nothing to his character. He teams up with kind of the classic combatants uh, with a K. You have Sonya Blade, played by a much less interesting version than the original. I believe the original actress was the woman from Wings, the hit TV show, for the one of you that knows that. We do have Kano back. Everybody loves Kano. He, he's about the same as the original. He has more screen time and holy hell, he swears more. This movie's got a lot of swear words all compacted into five minutes of the film. Liu Kang looks like he's 12. Um, no disrespect to the actor, that's a compliment. If you're much older, you, you look great. You're, you're very much in shape. Again, not holding a candle to the OG Liu Kang, and this isn't some weird nostalgic bias. I just, I, I, I'm looking at these people and they're not resonating with me the way the originals did. Goro's treated much closer to the likes of the Incredible Hulk this time around, as opposed to kind of the giant Muppet uh, mechanical creature. I'm not sure which I prefer. I mean, he looks very fake in this one. Newcomer, fan favorite, Melina's here. She's got the, the mouth thing that opens, doesn't wear the mask at all. She's, she's proud of her heritage. She's proud of who she is. She keeps that mouth open. Really doesn't show it off much. I think she shows it off one time. Not a lot of screen time for her. She looked great though. The actress, total smoke show. Would have liked to see more of her. Just all around more of her, physically. I thought maybe the only returning actor was Shang Tsung. Even though he didn't look like the original, um, he was wearing so much makeup. I thought maybe that's the, 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 the first dude from 95 and they just caked the shit out of makeup that I can't even recognize him. No, he's a different actor. I don't know what was going on there. Really weird, really, really weird what they did with his his face. So not 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 no compliments on the on the cast department. Plot makes no sense at all. They they're talking about Mortal Kombat a little bit. There's weird kind of like throwaway lines about surviving hell. There's no explanation to most of these characters, and they get superpowers by unlocking their their combat ability. Fine, I guess but some of them are like Elsa from Frozen where like Cole, for instance, gets to make a suit. How is that lock unlocking a special skill? You can manifest an outfit on yourself? That's not, no. That's not a natural ability that you can unlock. Anyway, the plot's a miss, the characters are a miss, so you have the fighting. And I will say the action's way better than the previous entry. I mean, there's no question about that. I don't think anybody can argue this. The Scorpion Sub-Zero fight is fantastic. 
Goro fight's dumb. Um, but there's so many fights that you can dismiss some of the bad ones. Even in the game, there's bad fights, you know? Not every character is a winner. They did add some new characters. There's like Batgirl and Hammer Dude. I don't remember Hammer, Hammer Brother from the game. Uh, I know there's some obscure ones. I just think these were new and wow, really bad, really bad decisions. Fatalities look cool, although sometimes I thought they looked more realistic in Mortal Kombat 11. The CG work here can sometimes be a little iffy. I would have liked a better pacing in this thing. A lot of the actions uh, backloaded with a, a middle section of just kind of traversing the land looking for people to fight. Sonya Blade, for some reason, is in a lot of this, even though she's not chosen to be in Mortal Kombat. I don't know how she's getting past the front door. I don't know why they're letting her even, you know, kind of stake her claim in this tournament at all. It's very bizarre. Everything's bizarre. Nothing makes sense in this, not that I expect it to. Again, this is gonna come down to whether or not you care about anything that makes a movie good, typically, or if you are just really in it for some cool fights. All right, why don't you let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments. Like the video if you, if you enjoyed yourself a little bit. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to talk about this channel to people. It's insanity that I've been sitting at under 60K subs for what feels like an eternity now. Check me out on Patreon. It'd be great if you could. I'm, I'm planning a lot of new stuff and it's nice to have some support. It's pretty miserable over there too. I guess there was just a lot of Frozen versus Tangled fans that just were burned that I didn't just do Frozen stuff. And that video sucks. All right, anyway, thanks, bye.